Well, it is time to roll up those sleeves and get dirty in your garden. Kathleen Yoshinaga from the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association joins us now to talk about the joys of gardening and what makes her happy. And today we're talking about orchid care tips because I think orchids a little bit tricky, not the easiest. I said that and Kathleen kind of scoffed at me. Oh, easy. <laughs> so it's Kathleen, easy. what do you have for us? How do you help us out with these orchids? <laughs> oh, okay. Orchid plants to me are actually really tough plants and they actually thrive on neglect. Neglect now. When you get a plant from the store, you don't need to pamper it. And these here are Philanopsis plants. And right now, you see a lot of these purple ones and colored ones all in the stores. And whites will be coming up during the winter time. And when you get one, you don't need to put it in somewhere that has a lot of light. And it just needs just some indirect light is fine. And even morning sun is just fine after it, all the blooms have gone or no light at all for now while it's still blooming. And when the leaves look dusty, all you need to do is wipe it with a wet towel or you can put it under running water to, you know, take off the dust and dirt. Now, when you do that, though, you make sure that you make sure that the pot that got water in it, uh, it's drained out completely and dried off before you water it again. So watering the orchid plants, all you need to do is maybe once a week at the most if you keep it indoors. And it, it's just fine. Don't let it sit in water because it just doesn't like water in the pot. It, you know, it tends to root rot. And once you do that, now your blooms here, here, okay, when the blooms here, it'll keep blooming all the way to the very end and you don't cut off the, you don't want to cut off the stem here until the stem itself has become very dry and dried out and brown um, because it, it may actually form a new bud, you know, throughout the stem here as it's going along, even though it may be partially brown. And you don't need to fertilize a commercial orchid plant, maybe till all the flowers are done. And that might take, this one would take about three months, two, three months at least. I'd say three months to fertilize this one. And so you, it's very little care involved. And you don't need to repot it too. It likes its small little space. Uh, this, this plant probably could be repotted in about a year from now. Watering is simple. So like I said, you just water it once a week and you water, should water it in the morning you know, consistently and only once a week and use tap water. Don't use extreme cold water or hot water because it's going to shock your plant. Um, you can tell this orchid plant here it got a little bit too much water because the leaves started turning yellow in, in no time. So in that case, just stop watering and let it dry out completely before you start again. See, I think that's where I go wrong, Kathleen, because I see the yellow and I see how it looks drier, and I'm like, it needs more water. So I think I no. overwater them. Uh. Yes, it did. And if you do it in the right conditions, this plant will actually rebloom again after all the blooms are done in about six months. Okay. okay? And, you know, and do on you, this type of philanthropy. Do you ever clip them? Do you ever need to do that? Uh, you would only clip them if and when the stems and flowers are totally dead. Okay. I mean, br drawn and, br uh, and brown. Um, you could clip off the dead leaf when it's totally yellowed and dried out. That's okay. But I wouldn't try clipping them off the others. Just let it go. Now, these are dendrobium market plants. They are less expensive. And these can bloom actually three to four times a year. and has the same care as Phalaenopsis plants. Now, this one... Uh, it tends to grow taller than wider. Oh, so okay. adjust for that when you keep it in a space. So dendrobiums again like are become tall and Philonopsis just likes to spread out its okay. leaves. Good to know, but but very the, similar care tips. All right, yeah, thank you so very much. Very similar care. All right, thank you so much, Kathleen, for joining us and giving us those care tips, helping me out with orchids because you know me. I need all the help <laughs> and tips from you that I can get. So we really appreciate you.
Anytime, anytime. <laughs> so Found cute. yourself. And so, hey, get out and go buy your orchids because, again, you can keep them for months, years, potentially, as long as you're following her tips.